Welcome on into the channel. Today we're talking Tesla stock after the recent really nice run this past week. Little Santa rally going into the holiday season. If you are a Tesla holder, we're going to be talking about what's going on here with Tesla and of course what to watch out for going forward into the coming days and weeks ultimately here with Tesla. So we do want to start off here by looking at how the market finished up this past week. Pretty green across the board. A little volatility towards the end of the day, but pretty green across the board. Take a look at this. Tesla was up over 5% to close out the week. Pretty impressive if you ask me. Now, if we dive a little bit deeper into Tesla stock and we pull this guy up here, we want to look at what's been going on. So Elon Musk has been selling shares of Tesla. He recently tweeted saying he's almost done, just a little bit more to go. But take a look at this here throughout the month of November, really a ton of selling for him. And then throughout the month of December, some more selling here. He sold some shares in the 900s. He sold some up over a thousand. You go back into last month, he sold some up over 1100. So he's kind of getting a decent, you know, fill in terms of selling his shares. And he's been paying over, I think, $11 billion in taxes this coming year because of the sale of his Tesla position. Now, if we kind of zoom our way back into Tesla stock, I want to pull up Webull and run dive into our own chart here, talk about what's going on. So we take a look at this chart here. I do want to add one more line to talk about what's kind of been going on as of late. This is the downtrend that Tesla was in. We've kind of broken out of this downtrend as of late. And the past two days, we've seen a nice run to the upside. Take a look at this. Tesla has bounced off a dip just under $900 and has pushed up to this area right here. It's kind of sitting up towards an area, a key level that could be an area of resistance to watch out for. And that's up here right around this 1,060 to 1,075 or so level. Uh, it was an area of prior support back in here. Uh, and then it was also an area of resistance back here earlier this month. So let's see if we can get above that. But the downtrend is broken. Wouldn't be surprised if we get a retest where Tesla comes back down into the mid 900s and then bounces from that breakout point which is actually just around 950 or so on Tesla. And then, of course, a bigger move to the upside if we do get rejected here. However, a strong market will definitely help Tesla going forward. And this recent breakout could be what slingshots Tesla back up towards all-time highs. And Tesla is definitely not afraid of big-time moves. Take a look at some of these recent moves. When Tesla really got going and broke out up over $800 per share a few months ago, Tesla made a move of over 50% in less than a month wild. So it certainly can go for those who may be looking to short this thing on the backside. Yes, there's definitely opportunities and you can get these pretty big pullbacks, but at the end of the day, you can also get some pretty big moves up. So make sure you understand what you're doing, know your key levels, you know your stop points, whether you're going long, short, playing options or whatnot. One other thing we do want to mention is this played out absolutely perfectly when it comes to the gap fill. Take a look at this gap we had on the chart right in here a gap that we gapped up overnight in the after hours and pre-market trading from it looks like about 910 up towards about 945 or so uh, in one day, okay? This gap on the chart has been filled the past week and a half. It was filled, we actually dipped down just below and then we ended up closing very strong here on the 21st. That was a really good sign. See this little candle we have right here where we dip down, we had a wick down underneath that gap fill, underneath that 900, which, you know, hey, it, it happens. The stock market is by no means perfect, and there's a lot of stuff going on below certain key areas of support that are psychological or technical based that could get a lot of people to stop out only for those shares to get bought up by bigger money or smart money, as they say. And so that $900 break could have been an example of that where we dip below and then we end up closing above. So when we look at this, if you're looking at this from a trade perspective and you're saying, hey, I'm gonna hold Tesla as long as it holds 900. Now, it could dump below 900 and go way, way lower intraday, but if it ends up coming back and closing over 900, then Technically speaking here, that dip was bought up and that was, you know, really met with a lot of buyers and that's a really good sign. So that day that it closed up over here and ended up dipping down to looks like 885 and ended up closing up here towards about 937 or so. That was a very, very strong day, which then led to the breakout of this downtrend and a bigger move to the upside. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. But if you want to learn how to do your own technical analysis, spot these lines yourself, draw your own trends, all this good stuff, there'll be a link in the description box down below, as well as the pinned comment to get access to a technical analysis course. We teamed up with Joseph Hogue from Let's Talk Money, combining technicals, even some bonuses on fun 
fundamentals, building out trading plans and all of that good stuff. Take advantage of that. Also, there'll be a link to get five free stocks with Weeble up to $8,000 in free stock value plus five bucks in free crypto when you sign up and deposit any amount. That's this platform we're using right here. We do a lot of trading on this platform. We do a lot of charting on this platform. Tons of great stuff here compared to a lot of other platforms, especially these days when it comes to zero commission trading. We'll leave links to our other channels and other resources down below as well. Make sure to the thumbs up button and consider subscribing if you like these types of videos, keeping it short, sweet to the point. Thanks so much, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.